Well, your boy R. Kelly is back in court. He's got more, more charges he's facing in other states. So with that 30 years he got a couple of weeks ago, that's just the start. Like for all we know, he could get 100 years or more. So the jury selection begins on Monday as R. Kelly heads back in court to face for the charges. Here we go. So uh, the disgraced R&B uh, singer R. Kelly, who's serving a 30 year sentence for <clears throat> offenses, is back in court this week facing for the charges. The jury selection began on Monday in the latest case, which has been trialed in the 55 year old's hometown of Chicago, Chi Town. Kelly, whose full name is Robert, blah, 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 we all know this, was convicted in New York in September. Also facing charges are uh, Arkell's former manager, mm, Darum David. Okay, and an next employee, Milton June Brown. Okay, the trial is expected to last around four weeks. As the jury selection began, Kelly's attorney, Jennifer Bongian, filed a motion asking that anyone who's watched a documentary called Surviving R. Kelly will be disqualified from service. Hmm. That's, hmm, that's, uh, that's good because that was definitely a smear campaign against Orpheus. Sorry, I mean, R. Kelly, which is modern day Orpheus. So, well, if, if you know, you know. So, I was doing um, a little research on R. Kelly for another video, right? When you Google R. Kelly, like, this is what comes up. So, R. Kelly, pretty, <laughs> pretty much all he's, he's ever done, musically, talent-wise, is all irrelevant when you Google him. But there's a big double standard, and I'll get, I'll, I'll get, I'll get to it shortly. The first line when you Google R. Kelly is this. Kelly is an American convicted mm -mm, offender. That's, that's the first line. That's what comes up when you Google R. Kelly. For anyone that doesn't know who R. Kelly is or the impact he's made in music in general, when you Google him now, for the millennials or the Gen Z, not the millennials, the Gen Z or the Gen W or F or whatever stupid gens coming after this, if you Google it, that's what comes up. <laughs> I think I think we can all come to an agreement. Is just saying like you know he's fucked up. Like he's done. He's, he's he's done. You can't do the same thing these people do and expect the same judgment. Like back in the day, even till today, a black kid from the inner city will commit just the same crime as the other privileged kids but the black kid will most likely be trialed as an adult and be sent to a grown man jail while the other kids from the privileged community will be walking around free do a couple of probation and, st and stuff you know how many how many people i mean black people were put away for weed crazy shit as weed and still locked up till today after weeds become legal and you've got all this suburban kids that were caught with weed and just got a slap on the wrist same thing you see R. Kelly here did pretty much it's just evil wrong but compared to the scale of what someone like let's say uh Roman Polanski did oh you don't even want to go there this is this guy this Roman Polanski guy adopted a girl a little girl I'm talking about like eight, seven, eight years old girl. Adopted the girl as his daughter and married her. Y yes, you didn't hear me wrong. He freaking married her. And he's been doing this to like kids for, for a while. But he was praised by Meryl Streep and all the rest. Give a stand innovation several times after he fled the country, fled prosecution, went to a non-extradition country, 
but he was glorified and praised by all his peers. Even what's his name, Quentin Tarantino praised him. I'll play the video later so you can listen for yourself so you realize I'm not just talking out my ass. Hey, uh, were you happy when Roman Polanski won the Oscar? Yeah, that was pretty cool, actually, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's so great about a rapist being the recipient of Hollywood's highest honor? I don't, I don't consider him a rapist. All right, that's the one. That, how can you defend? See, I don't understand this. Mm -hmm. How come Hollywood embraces this madman, this director who raped a 13-year-old? He didn't rape a 13-year-old. It was statutory rape. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, that's well, not quite the same thing. All come right? on. Enough said. It's it's not statutory rape. You know, he had sex with a with a minor. All right, that's not rape to me. When you use the word rape, all right, right you're talking about violent throwing them down. It's like one of the most violent crimes in the world. You can't throw, you know, throwing the word rape around is like throwing the word racist around. All okay, right? you know, okay. it just doesn't apply to everything that people use it for. All right, you know, he was he's, he was guilty of having sex with a minor. All right? That she didn't want to have. No, that was not the case at all. She wanted to have it. Well, and dated the dated dated the guy dated the guy dated and and, the guy. and she was thirteen and found out. Well, you by the way. We're talking about America's morals. We're not talking about the morals in Europe and everything. Oh. All right. Uh, Wait a second. More you than have Europe, sex in China. With a 13-year-old girl, and you're a grown man. Uh -huh. You know that that's wrong because oh, no, she's giving been... her booze and, and pills. I'm not, talking, I'm not. Look, she was down with it. Oh, you're oh. Crazy. When you Google him, this is what comes up. Raymond Roman Thierry Polanski is a Polish and French film director producer, screenwriter, and actor. During his career, Polanski has received five Oscar nominations, winning the Best Director in 2003 for The Pianist, but was expelled from the Academy in 2018 after his conviction for child <clears throat> abuse. Now they bring it over here at the last line. The last line, there you see it. You see? Well, go back to my man here. The first line. <laughs> well, it's not my man, but you get what I'm saying. Right there. Another one. Let's go to the other one. Rob Harris. Rob Harris. Demon himself. This dude was a, a child entertainer or something. Had kids shows. Was ingrained into the culture of like children's entertainment and he was doing that to them to them little kids right but when you google him this is what comes up rob harris is an australian entertainer whose career has encompassed his works as a musician singer songwriter composer comedian actor painter and television personality he was convicted in 2014 of sexual uh, 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 of an underage girl. Now they bring it up. The fourth line down. They bring it up. Back, my man, Ari Kelly right here. That's the first line. That's what he is. It's an American convicted uh, 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 offender. And then they start naming his accolades. Back to another one. Um, these people, these ones I'm, I'm talking, this is, the, this is like the the big demon stuff right here. This is not, our has got nothing on these guys right here. Gary Glitter. Gary Glitter himself. The demon himself, this dude, man. Oh, man, this dude would go to Thailand and all these Asian countries where stuff like that was like done. It was illegal, but you could, because of the corruption, they could actually take them little kids and bring them to you. And he would go there and do all this after I couldn't get away with it over here in the UK. Anymore. So, but here's what Google says about him. Paul Francis Gad, known professionally as Gary Glitter, is an English performer, glamour rock singer, who achieved success in the 1970s and 1980s. They didn't even say nothing what the guy did. Oh, then if you, right, if you go down, 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 they have criminal status incarcerated. What for? You gonna tell us what for? No? All right, you have to Google all that further. This dude right here, this Gary Glenn right here? Oh, 
What a demon. What a demon. To the biggest demon of them all, this nigga right here. This dude right here. Jimmy Savo. Jimmy Effin Savo. Look at his face. You can tell this dude is a. Oh! Mm -mm 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 -mm. This guy was a piece of dirt, man. He didn't only do that to kids, to children, little babies. This mom, he did that to dead people as well. This man would go to morgues and actually have <clears throat> intercourse with dead mother... Like, this was a necrophilic demon right here. But let's read what Google says about him. Sir James Wilson Vincent Savile, OBE. I think the Queen gives OBE. <laughs> All right, well, you know, you want to know how Princess Diana says she hated this Jimmy Savile and she called him a vile man. Because he's rumored to, like, you know, kind of produces this little underage uh -uh -uh for royalties and very important personalities, if you know what I'm saying. An OBE KCSG was an English DJ, television and radio personality who hosted the BBC shows, including Top of the Pops. These are very, very popular shows. These are like the top shows on BBC at that time. And they all knew what he was doing. They all didn't say ish about it. They didn't say nothing about it. He hosted uh, his shows was including Top of the Pops and Jimmy Fix It. That was the top one, Jimmy Fix It, with the kids one. That was a mainly kids show. Like, oh, Jimmy will help you fix things. So he raised an estimated $14 million for charity during his lifetime. Savo was widely praised for his, person, for his personal qualities and as a fundraiser. To find out what he actually did, you have to really, really search it and go down and Google and click the clack to find out what this demon actually did. Even in death, he's still being protected. Still being protected. Our Kelly is not getting that protection. No, 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 no. You just sing and dance and jump up like a little person or jumping monkey. They, they're not. Come on, they're not protecting you. That's man. <laughs> that's it. That's that's the video, guys.